one today to do a little bit of a haul. It's a long time since I've, I've done a haul video. I don't tend to buy lots of things all at once. I just buy little bits here and there. Um, so I have got a few bits and pieces that are enough for a haul really. So the first place I went to was Pound Shop. Nothing crafty really, but I bought one of these lovely pumpkin mugs that I've seen everybody buy in. So I bought one of those, I think they were £1.50. So I think this will probably stay in my craft room and I'll probably use it as a pen pot or something like that. Um, so that was from the pound shop. While I was in town, I went to TK Maxx. And there's often some nice little crafty bits in TK Maxx and you forget to look in there. But I've got these lovely little paper clips. So these ones have got um, little pom-poms on that are like fruit. They were only one ninety nine, and then these ones which are rabbits with pom pom little tails on. And they were also one ninety nine, and then I got these two stamp sets. They were only ninety nine pence each. I thought these were a nice size stamp of the different um, types of letters in different fonts, and then this one, which is just your bog standard little sentiment one. I thought, well, they can either go in a a bundle for Happy Mail or there's a nice little sprig of foliage there. So that was those for 99 pence each. I thought that was a really good deal. And then I bought a mixed media pad and I've never had a mixed media pad before. So this is A4, you get 30 sheets and the 200 GSM. And they, this was 5 99 which I didn't think was too bad. So I've had, I have opened it and I've had a look and the pages are nice and thick. So I'll have to have a go and see if that makes any difference to, to any of my projects. And then that was TK Maxx. Then I went into WH Smith's and I found the next one of Daphne's Diary. This is number seven for 2022. I did actually look to, to buy the Daphne's Diary, just individual ones online. But they're obviously coming from overseas somewhere because the postage was actually more than what the magazine itself cost so I thought well, right I must look out in Smith's because I did find the last one in there and lo and behold this one was there and straight away I thought I've got to get that so it's got toadstools on the front and there's a one on the back as well so it's a very autumnal feel with this magazine this time the more toadstools I love this magazine. It seems a shame to to cut it up, but I do intend to use it and cut it up because there's so much. I mean, there's this, you know, you can use this. There's just so much you can do with it. It's just a really, really lovely magazine. And there's, what could I see that was in there? There's papers there. Um make your own fortune cookies there it says but you could do anything with, with those and there was a put on some stickers there little beautiful stickers and there's recipe cards you can cut out and lovely pictures of flowers and then these little forest elves it's calling them which are rather cute and they've got wings and there's a beautiful poster there and then different papers at the back. Love that. Very autumnal. Lovely. So that was that. Then I went to the range, which isn't in the town. It's in an industrial estate, so I had to drive to there. I got these two vellum paper pads. 36 sheets, A5. So I've not seen these in there before. I think they, these were one ninety nine each. So every single sheet in here is vellum, but it's coloured or patterned. I thought they would be useful to have and come in for all different things. Love that. So that was the sort of floral one there, and then this one, which is the same, but there's lots of browns and greens in this one. Beautiful. So that was the first thing I got in the range and very, very little left in the sale in the range. So these were down to 16 pence each. 
and it just says glitterations by do crafts paper mania and they're just little gold sticky backed sort of dots which i'm sure will come in useful and there's quite a lot there for 16 pence each so i was quite pleased to spot those then i bought myself a wreath now i can't find the receipt i want to say this was 2.99 but it may have been more it doesn't actually have the price on there it's a 30 centimetre grapevine wreath, it says, by Art Studio. So I'm hoping I've got enough bits and pieces to actually decorate this myself. I've got a lot of the leaves and things from last year and I bought some more this year. So while I was there, I bought this autumn red wreath decoration box. Again, this could have been 2 99 I can't find the receipt, so I'm not sure how much this was but this smells really nice when you open it up i wonder if it's it's these sort of orange slices they're sort of dried and then there's some what's maybe these hmm. sort of little almost like dried out cinnamon sticks i don't know what they are and then some berries red berries and little pine cones and then some other berries and some little four acorns so with this and the leaves that i've got and the little toadstools and things that i've got i will attempt to to decorate that wreath i think and then i'll come back and show you how i've got on with that at the end so that's my haul for now as i say i'll tag on my finished wreath now so you can see what i've made Right, this is the wreath. Um, I still think I'm going to add a little bit more. I don't know. There's maybe enough on there now, um, but I might add some more little berries. I've put some of my little toadstools. That I've got had a pack of these from Hobbycraft a little while ago. I'll just put a couple of those on, and I've used everything out of that little that little box apart from the orange, the dried orange. I couldn't get those to stick. I was using my my hot glue gun which has stuck everything bar those they just wouldn't stay on um and i've used quite a few of the different colored leaves so that's all from me today thank you for watching and i'll see you all again soon bye for now